All right, welcome back to another video. My name is JP. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. Today we're going to go through some solds as usual, and then we're going to hit the car boot. Not sure which car boot. Yeah, it's Friday today, so we're going to hit one tomorrow. There is one today, but I've already missed it. I think it's quite early in the morning on a Friday, so we're going to go tomorrow. But yeah, this is everything that I have sold on eBay in the last few days. It's been pretty good. Yesterday was really quiet. I only sold like two things yesterday. But I sold a couple of things this morning and I sold lots of things the other day. Uh, what day was that? Wednesday. Wednesday was a really good day. And starting out here, we got Adidas Golf Polo. Quite a nice polo shirt. Good size. Really good condition. That's just sold for £11. Took an offer on that one. Fans, long sleeve top. This sold for 10 No, did it? I don't know. This sold for £7.50, I think. Took an offer on that. Had it up for 10 But only paid about three quid for it, so not bad. This is something that's been hanging around for a while. Not sure about this line. It's Nike Sphere Dry. And I think it's like a cycling jersey. That's what I've sold it as, I'm sure. Anyway, that has sold for £10. And sold some Columbia shorts. Although they're not that short. They're almost like three-quarter length. Long shorts is what I would call them. Columbia GRT. I think it's quite an old line, that one. I don't, I don't see that anymore. They sold for... 11 pounds and then moving on just sold this this morning i think it's anakin anakin skywalker right got his little backpack uh power of the force figure i think which is like late 90s but that has just sold for five pounds more star wars got lego star wars on the game boy advance this sold for six pounds picked this up from the car boot the other day for just one pound not loads of money in that but they never use these in games really easy to pack though really easy to send just sold this this morning as well. I had this up for a little bit more, but I reduced a lot of prices last night. And this sold for six pounds. I've sold it before, but before for more. So that's why I had it up for like 10 pounds. But someone sent me an offer. So we'll take that. We'll take that. Um, we sold this bundle of little F1 cars. Nothing really like special in here. They're like, they seem to just be like unbranded really. So yeah, sold those for just eight pounds. They've been hanging around a while. I don't think they really cost me anything. So happy to see them go. And sold these Motor Max monster trucks. They only sold for 10 pounds for the free. We sold this Lego Mixels. Just picked this up in the charity shop the other day for one pound and that sold for 10 pounds. Probably could have waited and got a little bit more for it. Happy to let it go for that price really because it's still a lot of good profit in there. This thing's been hanging around for ages. This is a, a vintage Bandai Power Rangers villain called the Weird Space Alien or something. I don't know. Uh, slowly reduced the price and it sold for the grand total of £6. Woo! Just picked this up not too long ago in a, in a big bundle of stuff. And yeah surprised that this sold quite quickly to be honest and it sold for 11 pounds but it is sealed it's for the 3ds it's a it's a little pen little sonic and knuckles uh stylus pack that's what that is so yeah pretty pretty happy with that one then we've got gta 5 on the ps4 complete with a manual and map really good condition as well i mean it's not ps4 so it should be but sometimes they're not when you pick them up but this one's this one's shiny and that sold for 13 pounds I feel like it should be a, a bigger price on that game, but it's it, there's just so many uh, for sale out there, and everyone's taking like really like cheap prices. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, the best sale of the day. Someone bought all three of these. Finally, I've had these for a while. They're just basically little matchbox cars. You can see one of them's open there, but it has got the box, and then the rest of them really are sealed. I think. Uh, there might be one that's open, but yeah, it's just loads of new Matchbox cars still in the packaging, and yeah, they for as a total, these sold for forty six pounds and ninety seven pence, and a combined shipping for them because these were all separate listings. Just had them as like little bundles, but yeah, really really good sale. So yeah, really happy with that sale. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna get this stuff packed up and sent. And then we'll go to the car boot and see what we can find. All right, let's go. One more sale I forgot about was this Power Rangers Beast X Morpher. Look out for these. These sell quite good. 
um, and you want to have this little key thing that slots in there. This sold for £15 and it's going all the way to Denmark. So big up Denmark, big up the Danes who keep buying my stuff because these are uh, Moto Max Monster Chucks are actually going to Denmark as well. So thank you very much to the Danish population for buying my eBay items. They probably paid quite a bit of postage for this. Um, so yeah, that sold for £15 from the Power Rangers bundle. Another really good sale. Let's go. We're back from the car boot and it was all right. It was all right. It, it, there just wasn't a lot. The worst thing about it was paying five pounds entry and there just wasn't a lot there. There wasn't a lot there. There wasn't a lot of stalls. It was just, yeah, too many buyers, not enough stalls, not enough good stuff in the stalls. And if they did have good stuff, they wanted silly prices for them. So that's how it went. And this is everything that i bought apart from a few of these things uh i definitely didn't buy this knife basically i bought a few things and then spent the rest of my money on pokemon cards because there wasn't really anything else we will go through this but i'm just i just want to show you this because this is absolutely ridiculous bought this guy it's from up apparently he is anger he was only 50p but he's meant to be talking just trying to change the batteries because he wasn't uh he was kind of doing the thing but he needs new batteries but this battery compartment is literally the hardest thing to get back to get all the batteries in uh i just i don't know what i don't know what i'm doing you put those two in all good and then you've got to get next one in but you've got to push that spring down and obviously it's hard to get anything in there and any time I try and prize this, it's going to pop a battery out. So I'm just battling with this right now. I'm going to keep trying. That's why the knife's out. That's why the screwdriver's out and the pliers. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and keep doing this. See if we can get this guy working. He's probably not even going to be worth it. But now I'm, I'm determined to get this guy get this guy chatting. All right. Oh, we did it. That was actually so difficult. I'm going to put this on before... Uh, 
Ah, before they fall out or something. Let's see if this guy's working. He seems to be working less than he did before, before he kind of started to make the noise. I don't know how you meant to do it. He meant to move his arm or something. That's what I did before. And he and he made some kind of noise, but it wasn't like the full thing. Um, so <laughs> I hope I've not put the batteries in the wrong way around. I'm pretty sure I haven't. I don't know what's happening. We managed to get the batteries in. I can't get him working. I don't know if I put the batteries in the wrong way. Well, probably it's probably worth checking because he's. I think he's quite a rare figure. And boxed his sales for about 20 quid. And he was just 50p. So maybe get a tenner for him if we can get him working. I think he's meant to light up as well, but... We'll try again, I think, with that one. Over here, we've got lots of, obviously, got the Disney stamp on there as well. Not worth loads, not in immaculate condition. A little bit of, like, wood chippings and stuff on the back. But we can get all that off. And, yeah, maybe £10 for that, so max. We've got Buzz Lightyear gun. Tested. It is working. Some, a bit of power in this as well. Pull that back. And then push it in. And you may have like a little sponge ball that shoots in there. You hear that? That's spring loaded, mate. That's some that's some weapon that it's dangerous. Alright, we've got some turtles books, 1990. This is just for the collection. I just like picking up things like this because it goes well like behind the figures and stuff like that. Just have a little background. Not worth loads of money, probably not worth really even trying to sell. We've got this Elon Moss hobbit figure of gandalf and i just sold this recently for about 15 quid so that's a nice little find he was one pound 50 so pretty much a bargain that one what were they 50p i didn't even say this was a pound he was a pound generally what you're going to pay for something like that the car boot this spider-man figure from 2012 he is working electro webs pretty cool huh pretty cool huh no it's you're not cool mate this is gonna spin as well. Is that the, oh, that's that one. There we go. So fully working, decent little figure. Probably about ten pounds. I think for that one, he was one pound fifty. I think paid three pounds for these two. And this is a Schleich DC figure. I just looked him up, but I can't remember what he's called. Probably not worth it. He was. Uh, he's probably only gonna sell for about a five. Or someone's got one listed for like five quid. So, but yeah, it's worth looking out for these Schleich figures. I sold one recently. It sold really fast. And that moves us on to the Pokemon cards. This is what I spend most of my money on, and these are just for the collection. We've got a Snorlax from X and Y promo hollow. I paid five pounds for that. It's probably worth about five pounds. And then we've got some first edition cards: Dark Primate, Grimer, Diglett, Coffee, and Drowsy Ekans, all from a Rocket Set. And and yeah, they're all first editions. I paid just over three pounds each for all of these cards because i did a big you know I, I bought them all together as one big price so just over that i mean that was he did want five pounds for that but i didn't actually pay that because it was uh in a deal so yeah it's probably it's a good price it's not amazing this one's probably worth about six the rest of these all common cards so they're probably only worth about uh about four pounds each because they're first editions and then we've got some non-first editions. These were just ones that are missing from, from the actual set. So Dark Muck, Dark Electro, Dark Gloom, Dark Weezing, Slowpoke and Oddish. Dark Weezing being the best one. It's about a six pounds, six pound card because it's a rare. And if you're wondering, it's that little star in the bottom corner. If you're looking at vintage Pokemon cards, rare is the little star in the bottom corner. It's hard to see it right now because it's so, so tiny. And then uncommon is a little diamond, and common will be a little circle, a little black circle. And yeah, that's how to tell that. It doesn't mean that that's worth a lot of money. It's really the hollows that you want to look for. But, you know, no one's stupid these days. No one's really selling them cheap. So these, yeah, just happy to find them and, and get them for the collection, to be honest. Not trying to make money, not trying to do anything else, not trying to even like get a bargain, really. But it was all right. It was a good price. It was fair. So that's those. And then we got some clothes. So yeah, list lately I've bought some stuff off quite a bit, and she she just gives me a really good price. Like I didn't even have to barter for these. These were up for five pounds because she prices everything. Nike golf, Nike golf shorts in really good condition. 
even though they're white they look brand new so i might even sell these as new i don't think these have ever been worn really and yeah they were up for a fiver and she just said you can have them for three quid because i buy quite a few things off her and then we bought all this in one big deal all for 22 pounds so we got this nike Night golf. I think it's a night golf polo. I would presume it is, although you can't see it anymore on here what it is. But it doesn't. That doesn't matter too much. No one really cares that much about that. It's really about the condition that the item is in, and it is in really good condition. We bought this horrible, vulgar, All Saints leopard print shirt because it's viscose. So it's just an. I can't show you that well, but that's that's what it is. That's what it looks like. And yeah, that should sell probably for like 20, 25 quid, hopefully. That's what we're going to aim for. The night golf polo, probably about 15. And then the shorts, maybe 20, 25. That would be like top price that I'm aiming for. Then we've got this Rohan shirt. Just kind of a basic hiking shirt, you know. But it's quite nice, quite good condition. That was like, I don't know how much it was. I bought it all together than that. But that should sell for about 15. And then we've got a couple of Under Armour polos. Just basic, but they are really good sizes. 2XL. They should sell for about 15 quid each. Just nice and simple. Black and grey, nothing special. But then we got this Aston Villa training shirt as well. And it's Nike XL. I don't know how much with that one. Maybe 20 quid. So yeah, 20, 22 pounds for all those. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So... It's just about it's about three pounds fifty each for all of those, which is a really good price. And again, she just she said it should come to like twenty seven, but I'll let you have it for twenty two. So I didn't even have to ask. So yeah, that's probably made up for there not being much stuff here. That's made up for it. Make quite a bit of money off all those clothes. So yeah, overall not the best day at the car boot, but I mainly just know because it's five pounds to get in. If it's five pounds to get in. I want to find a lot more stuff than this to make it worth it. Uh, but yeah, I, I think they should not do that, to be honest. £5 is a lot. Uh, I get why they do it. But realistically, just, just open the car boot at a time. And let everyone in at the same time. I don't really understand it. You're just letting resellers try and, uh, try and go in early and get all the good stuff, which makes it pointless going at 12 o'clock for anyone else really in my in my view because there's not just going to be nothing left although i did go once at 12 o'clock i did find i probably found more stuff than this so i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just i'm just moaning but anyway i'm going to leave it there for this video i hope you like the video if you do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one goodbye